So, Hiroko, how long mm -hmm. do you have to do this for to get the ink the right uh, way? We have to check. It's really maybe 10 minutes. Oh, wow. It's a long time. <laughs> so, uh, don't put too, too much water. Because don't put too be much perfect. water because it'll take that yeah, much longer to do yeah. the ink. Oh, thank you. Why do you prefer using the stone and the stick of ah. ink over the liquid ink? Because this is already, like, uh, probably it's very black. Very black. But uh, uh, to do smear or shadow, sometimes it's, uh, you, you can play with the darker one and the light one, uh, usually like uh, three levels. Three levels yeah. of color. So you want to get a lighter color, you're going to yeah. mix it right now. Yeah, and that's easier than starting yeah. with the black ink and going light, trying to get that, yeah. dilute that and get that lighter. Okay. Wedding or funeral, and usually you use light color to funeral. Light it's color show, to funeral. Because showing that, I, I did this very quickly because to, in order to sympathy, I did very quickly. And the wedding you take time to make dark color. So dark color for, if you made a piece of artwork as a gift for somebody in Japan, yeah. if it was for a wedding it would have a dark color, if it was for a funeral it would have a yeah, light color. Like showing that uh, we... Right, because I wasn't planning on you dying, yeah. so I didn't spend a long time getting yeah, right, the color really right. dark. Right, I hear you. <laughs> but a wedding, I knew you were engaged, you so I prepared planned. for a long yeah. time. That's that's really cool. So yeah. it's got symbolic meaning. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Wedding or funeral? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In the middle. In the middle. Yeah. Every day. In every yeah, day painting. Yeah, in the middle. Regular one. And when, at what point do you test it? Do you know just by looking at it, or do you have to test it? Uh, you, you feel it, water become a little thicker. The water actually looks thicker. Yeah. So it's not ready yet, it still looks too watery. Um, yeah. Okay. A little, yeah. Well, right, you well, I would turn it off, and then I'll turn it on again when you're just about done. You warn me. There's some paper. I brought tons of paper today. Uh, one, I would use one for just the testing. So one paper's for testing. Oh, not really. A little bit. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You can put down two pieces of paper. Here, the one, and then we'll put a second one down. Hold on, I've got a lot of paper today, and it's thick paper, too. Hold on. It's this. Here, let me take you, give you another paper there. Okay. The first one can act as a blotter for the second one. So you're checking how dark it is. And, and usually the, 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 here, you know. That's going to be darker. Darker. And if you do like this, you first do like this, and if you, here, there is a thicker one here, darker one here, in the beginning like this, like a mm -hmm. ambatia bath basing, <laughs> and then make a... You put the point into the blackest ink, yeah. so you're mm -hmm. making a gradient from the tip to I the, you let's can see. see. Probably. Yeah. Yep, and it goes from dark to light. Yeah. The point is darker and the bottom is yeah. lighter. Yeah. if you do bamboo. Bamboo. Oh, I want to see bamboo. Up. And then up. Oh, and then you do a little space. Okay, so you press down to get a darker yeah. blot at the end, and that's how you're making a bamboo brush stroke. Wow. And how would you make the bamboo leaves? There uh, go. Okay. More bamboo. Every child in Japan learns how to do this in yeah, school? Yeah, it's like a plane. Oh, press down, lift up. Press down, lift up for the leaves. Okay. And don't make them right across from each other. Kind of stagger <laughs> them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe like this. Is this going to be a house? It can be, can. I think it can. Like this. Oh, oh, those are the stalks and those are the leaves. Okay. And you just press down and lift up. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, how do you sign your work in Japanese? Yes. Hiroka. Yeah, usually we have a stamp with uh, red uh, yeah, ink that we don't have, so we just write my name. Yeah. 
beautiful. Oh wow. Another paper. Another paper. Let's let's do another paper because I want to keep this one. Okay, so now we're learning how to do the panda bear. Oh wow, I'm going to go to the other side of you because I'm not, I'm missing some of your brush strokes I think. Wow, okay, so this is the panda's eyes. And you're just using the point of the brush to make the circle. Wow. Are those his arms? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, his little claws. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Boo. <laughs> <Boo. laughs> and there's our panda bear. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... Panda can hold... Bamboo. Bamboo. Small one. Oh, he's going to hold a little piece of bamboo to eat? He's hungry. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm going to take a picture of it. 